Welcome to Geology, a channel dedicated to making concepts in biology simple, easy to understand and interesting. In this series, we have been studying the structure of flower. We have also seen the process, the types of pollination. And in the previous videos, we have also seen about the microspores or the pollen grains and how the male nuclei are being produced. In this video, we are going to look at the structure of ovule and we are also going to see what is double fertilization. That is, how does fertilization happen in case of these plants? Let's begin with the structure of ovule. But before that, what is an ovule? An ovule is simply an immature seed or you can say it's an egg containing organ which is present within the ovary. Now, how does an ovule look like? There is a stalk with which the ovule remains attached to the ovary. So this stalk is known as funicle and the point of attachment of this funicle to the body of the ovule is known as hilum. Okay. The basal part of the ovule where the integuments arise is known as chalaza. The point of extension of the funicle beyond the hilum alongside the body of the ovule is known as raphe. So which means that this extended part of the funicle beyond the hilum which is going along this ovule is known as raphe. The main body of the ovule consists of a central mass of tissue which is known as nucellus. This nucellus is surrounded by one or two envelopes. These envelopes are known as integuments. The integuments enclose the nucleus except at the apex where there is a small opening which is known as micropyle. Now near the micropylar end is a sac like structure which is known as the embryo sac or the female gametophyte which lies embedded within the nucellus. Okay, here. And initially, there is only one nucleus in the embryo sac. Later, this divides to form eight nuclei. So the eight nucleus, how are they? Let's look at them. So inside the embryo sac, these eight nuclei do not stay together. They get distributed. So three nuclei would go to the micropylar region and they form the egg apparatus. Of these three nuclei again, the middle one is the egg cell or the female gamete. The egg cell has two cells on either sides and these are known as the synergids. So three are done. Then there are two nuclei which are in the middle region and they are called the polar nuclei. Okay. These polar nuclei, they fuse and they form the secondary nucleus. And then third, there, now we have three more left. Now these three nuclei, they are found in the top portion and they are known as the antipodals, the antipodal nuclei, right? So now the structure of ovule is clear. Let's move on and see how does fertilization take place or what is double fertilization. Now we have seen earlier that through the process of pollination, the pollen grains are moved from the anther to the stigma of the flower. 
Now the pollen grains on reaching the stigma germinate and produce pollen tubes. If you haven't understood about these things or if you have any doubts about pollination or about pollen germination or pollen structure, please go back and refer to the, the previous videos. That will help you have a clarity. Coming back here. Now these long pollen tubes produced by the germinating pollen grain carries the tube nucleus and the two sperm nuclei. Now when the pollen grain enters the ovule inside the ovary, it is through the small pore that is the micropyle. The tube nucleus in the pollen tube disintegrates after the pollen tube reaches the micropyle of the ovule. The tip of the pollen tube dissolves on entry into the embryo sac and thus it releases the two sperms into the embryo sac. Now after the two nuclei are discharged into the ovule, one of them fuses with the secondary nucleus, right? this middle one. And that is the one formed by the fusion of two polar nuclei of the ovule. That is the, remember that is the secondary nucleus. So with that secondary nucleus, one of these sperm cells fuses and they form the endosperm nucleus. Now this is called triple fusion because there are three nuclei which are getting fused already for making the secondary nucleus two had fused and now the third one coming from the pollen that fuses. Hence it is known as triple fusion. Now what happens to the other male nucleus? The other one unites with the egg nucleus and it forms the fertilized egg or zygote which then later develops into the embryo. So the fusion of male nucleus with the female nucleus is known as fertilization. As you have seen now that the fertilization in ovule occurs in two sets of structures. Firstly between one, one sperm nucleus and the fused polar nucleus with polar cells and secondly between the other sperm nucleus and the egg cell, egg nucleus. Hence this kind of a fertilization is known as double fertilization since it's happening in two sets of structures. So after double fertilization, the embryo is formed as a result of the fusion between the egg and the sperm. And this other one, which is the endosperm nucleus, which is formed because of the result of triple fusion, this divides rapidly and develops into a nutritive tissue which is known as the endosperm. All the other nuclei in the embryo sac then degenerate. Right? So endosperm is triploid whereas the zygote is a diploid structure. Right. So with this, we have seen what is the fertilization, what is double fertilization in case of the flowering plants. Right. So after fertilization, the ovary develops into the fruits. The walls of the ovary develop into pericarp and then the ovules mature into seeds. So that's the fate of the different parts of the ovule after fertilization. Let us now look at a few questions which uh, are often asked in competitive exams. Stay back for those. It will help you to revise the concepts better. See you in my next video. If you like the channel, if you are able to find uh, value, if you are able to understand concepts,
concepts better please do like share and subscribe to the channel also mention in the comments about different other topics that you would like me to explain